Hi everyone, today I am excited to share with you my May favorites. I know I haven't done a video on here in a while, so I'm really excited to get back into YouTube and start sharing more videos with you guys. So first off, let's get right into some beauty products. I went ahead and picked up the Drunk Elephant Proteini Polypeptide Cream a couple months ago. I had a gift card for Sephora and I was looking for a new face cream that was going to work well with my sensitive combination skin. And what's really great about this is that it does not irritate my skin at all. I find that I just apply it onto my face and it immediately soothes my skin. It does reduce some of my redness and it helps when I apply my makeup. It just makes my foundation look that much better. So I found that with my sensitive skin, a lot of times when I'm looking for face cream, I'll go ahead and look for really great ingredients, but a lot of the ones that I've tried previous to this particular face cream would make my skin feel so itchy and tingly right after applying it. And I knew something wasn't right. I wasn't sure if it was an ingredient that was making me feel that way, but when I tried out the Drunk Elephant face cream, I did not have any irritation or any of that itchy feeling. So this is great. It's one of those clean makeup products that I think is great because it's moisturizing, but again, it's, it's going to work for sensitive skin. And I find that it does not have fragrance at all. It is just a great face cream. And what's cool about it is it has this pump feature so you just pump it once and then you can just swipe the moisturizer right off and so I find that that's great if if you just want like a really quick throw in your bag moisturizer too and then I also, when I was at Sephora, I was just looking for a whole new skincare routine. And I went ahead and picked up the trial size of the, let's see if it'll pull up here, the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. And this is a daily foaming wash, and I love it. I think that it smells so refreshing, but it also works really great for my sensitive skin, and it cleans all your makeup but it's not going to strip your face and make it feel tight or dry it's just a fantastic everyday face wash and sometimes I'll use this with my Clarisonic and it just gives me that really nice deep clean so once this runs out which I have just a little bit left I'm excited to go pick up the full size because again I've been going through all different types of face washes and moisturizers to find the right combo for my skin and I recently had tried fresh um, but I found that those products just didn't work for me but the exfoliate by Kate Somerville and then the polypeptide cream by Drunk Elephant is a wonderful combo together they work really nice and they just help me to keep my skin feeling awesome especially during the summer months okay <clears throat> so I also wanted to try a new primer and I found that the Origins Original Skin Primer and this is with their Willow Herb Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer just works beautifully when I apply my foundation with it. I find that it helps to keep my foundation on throughout the day. Today I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing as a foundation. It's one of my favorites and I use this primer with it just to help keep my skin looking radiant but also I love that it does do exactly what it says. It is a pore perfecting primer, so you're not going to really see those pores. And I love that it has that cooling sensation, especially if you have a lot of redness or irritation on your skin. This will help too to kind of reduce that redness and give you a nice base. So that way, when you are ready to apply your, your foundation, it just helps to create this smooth and nice canvas. It is a mousse um, sort of formula and it has a tint to it. So I would definitely recommend recommend going to Sephora and just testing it out and see if you like the shade but I use it all the time and I really really love the way that it looks on my skin so let me show you that foundation I have the deluxe version of this but you guys if you followed me for a long time you know that I go back and forth with using bare minerals original foundation and I'm the shade medium beige 12 it's what I'm wearing right now and I find that this is just the most beautiful foundation if you're looking for something that is easy to apply and you want that your skin but better that natural looking foundation and what I love about bare minerals their loose foundation I also have the 
liquid foundation, the Bare Pro, and that is my favorite liquid foundation, but I keep coming back to the mineral foundation, which is the loose powder, because it just works. I find that you can apply it and you can just blend it in with your brush and it gives you such a natural finish. And I love that. Sometimes I just want to have an everyday foundation that looks like my skin that isn't super full coverage so you can still see your skin peeking through but it just looks beautiful on and there's so many different shades to choose from so if you're looking for a new foundation i would definitely recommend testing out the bare minerals original foundation because it looks so nice on and it's what i'm wearing today and you can see it's just a beautiful uh natural finish that I love so and I wanted to show you guys the brush that I use it with is the bare minerals this is the angled face brush I have a couple other different brushes from bare minerals that I've tried with it but I like this one because it's definitely a multi-use brush I'll use it for my foundation sometimes I'll use it for my all-over face like a blush a bronzer it's just great and I love that it has the angled bristle so you can just go right in and it's a nice size that will fit your face really easily so that's another thing that I love about the bare minerals foundation is that it's just fast and you buff it in and it works it goes from a powder to a cream based product and it works Works so nicely to blend with your skin and its texture and going along with that one more bare, bare minerals things to show you guys is this all over face color by bare minerals I have the bare radiance and what I like about this is it gives your skin just a really nice pinky glow and I use this sometimes as an all over face color sometimes I'll use it just for blush on my cheeks but I find that sometimes when I just put my foundation on there's really it's like just so clean of a canvas that I want to add some color back in without having too too much on and so I put it on today Day, and it just gives you like really kind of that fresh looking plump skin that isn't just like one solid shade on your face so I don't know if that makes sense but I love it because it does just give you a little extra pinkiness and naturalness to your skin and then for bronzer I've been using the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked powder bronze 3 and I just have a sample size of it but a little goes a long way and I find that this is a really pretty shade that works well with my skin tone and it isn't shimmery at all it's just a beautiful matte bronzer that you can go in and really contour with or just add a little bit of warmth to your skin which I love that and then for a lip color I've really been loving the Buxom and this is their, what is it, the full on lip polish and I got the shade Claire and I just use this basically as a lip topper. So if I'm wearing any sort of lip color today, I'm wearing uh, Bobbi Brown, I just apply this on top and it is a nice gloss that also gives you a little bit of that lip plumping action. So I like this shade a lot. It's just a very pretty pink that has a little bit of shimmer to it and it does definitely give you a tingling sensation on your lips so if you don't like that you might want to pass on this one but i do like it because it gives me that kind of more juicy full lip and i like that tingling sensation for mascara i've been using the benefit bad gal bang mascara i just have a sample size of it my other favorite mascara is the benefit uh roller lash that is my all-time holy grail mascara it just lifts and curls but this one's great if you want some volume and also if you want to have that lifted look the actual brush was interesting to me um i felt like it's just very flexible and so you just have to get used to that i think if you apply your mascara really quickly you could easily either like poke your eye or just get kind of like you know if you blink and you get the black mascara underneath so you just have to be careful i think and get used to the flexible brush but other than that i find that the formula is great and i love that it does give me that volumized lash look and i'm wearing them today and then my all-time most excited thing that I'm uh, looking forward to sharing with you guys today is the Bare Minerals Bare Naturals Eyeshadow Palette. 
or excuse me, Bare Metals <laughs> eyeshadow palette. I also have the Bare Sensuals, and I got this one from QVC, and look how beautiful this palette is. It is definitely like my everyday go-to palette now. I love the gold shades, the pink, the browns. This is like Megan's palette, 100%. I love it because I don't really wear too many cool tones, even though the Bare Essentials has like purples and a little bit more grays. I find that I gravitate to this one all the time. I love wearing browns and just neutral shades, and I love the metal shades in here, like the gold and the shimmery champagne. I find that you can just apply this and go, and you can really amp it up for evening looks or for every day at work. I use this palette all the time now and it is my favorite palette that I've ever owned. So if you're looking for something that's neutral and that's gonna work really well for everyday wear, for college or for work, this is the palette to check out. And the formula is great, it's pigmented, it blends so well together, and I'll even use the darker shades for my eyeliner. So I love it. And then let's see, a couple other things to share with you guys that are not makeup related, but I recently cut and also colored my hair. I went ahead and used the Revlon Color Silk. This is the shade Brown Black, and it is number 20. I find that this works really well with my hair. I have very thick hair. If you guys look at any of my other videos, you know my hair is very thick, very curly. And what I love about this product is it gives me a beautiful shine to my hair. And it also is ammonia free. So in the past, I would dye my hair so often, but it really does dry out your hair and it really does, you know, affect the health of your hair overall if you're dyeing it all the time and using box dye. So I was looking for a product that was going to be as gentle to my hair as possible but that I could do it at home and that it was affordable and the Revlon Color Silk is only $3 at Target and I believe also at Walmart and because I have such thick hair I did end up buying three or four boxes just to get everything and that was before I cut my hair. I just recently cut my hair. It was like down to here but um, now I could probably get away with just using two boxes but I love the shade. I've used the shade now twice to color my hair dark brown and it really does cover your hair completely. It leaves it really really beautiful looking and the brown black is nice because I find that it'll start off really dark depending on how long you leave it in your hair but it fades to a really pretty brown and that can last me about six months and then I'll just redo it if I want to but I love this shade I think that it's my favorite dark brown color because you don't see that redness you know some hair dyes have a warmth underneath this one I feel like is a very natural dark brown and I love that and then last but not least, I wanted to share you, with you guys my favorite fashion product. I'm wearing them today. It's the nickel and suede leather earrings. So I've always loved earrings, but I find that a lot of the times they irritate my ears. These do not at all. They're so lightweight and I can wear them all day and not feel them in my ears at all. And I love the shape of these. So nickel and suede is great because you have uh, three different sizes to choose from for this shape. So this is the medium and I'm sure like the next purchase I might try the large which is just a little bit bigger or you could go for the small and they also have different uh, different types of earrings that they sell there too so they have this style they have more of a rectangular style they have one like this but it's a cutout and they also sell necklaces and bracelets and just all different things and I love the company I just think that this is such an awesome product especially for people that want to wear earrings but you don't like the heavy feeling of earrings and you don't um, you, maybe you get irritated. So these are my like newest ones that I got, but I also have the Gallic Gold, which are these beautiful gold shades. I also have, which is my like next favorite that I use all the time, is the lip gloss. And so it's like this champagne pink earring that I could actually wear with this dress if I wanted to. And then I also have the, I don't know where the second one is, the lilac i think this is lilac gray i might be wrong i'll put it down below but it's a very pretty soft purple earring and then if you want to just 
have a fun night out i also have the leopard and these are so fun so i love them i'm just so happy that i'm able to wear earrings again because again i've always wanted to wear earrings but they just irritate my ears so much and these do not at all and i can wear them all day and i love that they just create their own statement because of the shape and the size so that was my main favorite it wasn't a lot but just some things that i wanted to share with you guys that i'm really loving for the past month and i know i'm going to be using this stuff for the next month too let me know in the comment section if you tried any of these products out or what your main favorites are i'm always looking for new products to try out so thank you again for watching and i'd love for you guys to connect with me on my other social media accounts you can find me on twitter on instagram at megan aguayo and also visit my blog i'm posting more now and i can't wait to share with you guys all the things that i'm working on so again thanks so much for watching and i hope you guys have a great day bye